Aluko was one of ten new faces at Chelsea and after creating two goals in the first half she deservedly scored one herself. Dunya Susie's cross finished smartly by the England international. Sides hoping the second half of the campaign would bring better form. Despite being third, the Blues lost five straight in all competitions going into the Euro break, but they were off and running here early on thanks to Eniola Aluku's calm finish. Because we're having a whale of a time. The combinations continued to flow throughout the first half, and right at the end of it, Aluko had herself another, finishing off a fine move that she'd started to see the Blues go into the break with a well-deserved two-goal lead because Chelsea responded in the best way possible, halving that deficit almost immediately. A calamity for Jennifer Beatty at the back, pounced upon by Aluko, who made it 2-1 at the second time of... It went from bad to worse for the league leaders. They barely recovered when Yuki Ajimi slipped in any Aluko and the England international finished nervelessly. 2-0 Chelsea. Matt Beard's side and lifted by that goal, it was the Blues that started the second half the better as they took the lead for the first time. Helen Ward's effort was blocked by Whitney Egan, but the ball ran free to Enia Luko to net her second goal since returning to the club from Birmingham. But it didn't derail the Chelsea juggernaut for long because before the quarter hour they did score again. The speedy Luko given the freedom of Staines to race through and produce an exemplary finish. Jackie Gronen with the assist this time. Aluko's second of the game, 4-2 after an extraordinary 45 minutes of football. <laughs> they had won their last four home games and restored their two-goal cushion inside three minutes. Another assist for G. Aluko's glancing header, fair reward for a superb individual display. She'd have been thrilled with the start her side made, taking the lead after just eight minutes when Eniola Aluko scored her fifth Chelsea goal of the campaign to add to the brace she bagged for England earlier in the month. More deadly than that, and she proved it with a little under 20 minutes to go. Stand by for a little bit of magic to bring Chelsea level. Outrageous brilliance from Aluko, 1-1 half time for the opening goal Atlanta Primus deserves plenty of credit for her part in it hard work and a pass giving Eniola Aluko the chance to finish and she did so from a tight angle but that wasn't quite that the comeback looked on when Eni Aluko lashed in this effort to make it 4-3 another fabulous goal in this extraordinary semi-final game on again Zaluko, shooting chance perhaps, and scores! Well, she grabbed the goal in the one-all draw at Manchester City in May. Start. Laura Coombs spotted the run of Aluko, who beat Libby Stout to the ball and collected a well-taken first goal of the season. She's drawing the Birmingham players towards her and the ball. And now she finds Aluko, supported by Spence. Good save by Spencer, but Aluko is there. And Chelsea finally have the lead. And Aluko, calmly done. 3-0 to... For the pile, with one game of the season to go. Here's an opportunity. And Eni Aluko has taken it. And Chelsea now have a three-goal cushion. Aluko. Here's she. She has support. Aluko! Fantastic finish. G. Aluka to drive towards goal. And Aluko! Scores! It took less than 20 minutes for the visitors to go in front. Enia Luko, the goal scorer, as she turned in at the second time of asking from another Borges cross. It was a landmark goal for Aluko. The strike was her ninth of the season. Listen. Trying to use her pace. Successful. Kirby in the centre. She's arriving. Aluko's there as well. She leaves it. Aluko! Lovely goal. And Birmingham are such a durable unit defensively, but they give the ball away here. G. Now a Luco coming in field. 
and finding the net superbly. We were in the mood from the off and took just 19 minutes to take the lead. Karen Carney's corner was met by Millie Bright, who turned the ball across the six-yard box for Eni Aluko to head beyond Royals keeper Mary Earps. Any hope the visitors had of completing an unlikely comeback was ended just three minutes later. G's volley fell nicely into the path of Aluko, who notched her second of the match. Goalkeeper. And Doncaster survived, but it may only be a temporary reprieve. G finding England once again. And here is Aluko, and Chelsea have the lead. And Aluko looks to go all the way herself. It's a powerful run, and it's an outstanding goal from Eni Aluko. Not to be outdone, the always effervescent Eni Aluko got on the score sheet to pile the agony on Liverpool in the first half. Carney with the interception and through ball, her international teammate with a thumping finish two minutes before the break. Key possession, Davison. And to flick it round Scott. She does so. Into Kirby. Aluko! What a finish. It's going to fall for Anderson. Now she's going to get it back to Aluko! Any Aluko doubles Chelsea's lead. In the, in the, the last line of defence position, they, they'd swapped round there. Um, the cross obviously didn't come in really for them to attack it. Uh, Aluko for a header. she in here behind the ball drops nicely for Aluko, and that is one goal back for Chelsea. 